trying to empower women today, uh, more especially today, on Cabo Bay in L.A. because it is, in fact, International Women's Day. Earlier we talked about uh, breasts, uh, bigger versus smaller, and how it affects our confidence and our psyche as women. And we just talked about owning it and being comfortable in our own body. And if we feel like we need it, then go do it and then own it, all right? And But for now, um, we're talking to Ellen still. Uh, thank you to Gail and Dr. Rijay. They left. Um, but Ellen is here still because she uh, started this line of launch for small breasted women and we were talking earlier during the break about misconceptions the first one is you differentiated our conversation earlier which was mostly about women who wants bigger breasts right. and as opposed to what you want to talk about which is women who are fine with their small yes. breasts but they just want clothes that fit that's correct. expound on that yes yeah, so there are a lot of women I think there's um, a lot of misconception in the media or just in general that if you're small busted that you must want to become bigger busted yes. and the customers that we get at Lulalu are the complete opposite they just hate the shopping experience they find when they go shopping at department stores they get told they don't need a bra or they get sent to the children's department oh that is so yes. sad and really yes. that happens and they don't want Spongebob you know on their underwear right, so right. Okay. They, yes it happens quite frequently and okay. so um, so they get you know put off by the whole shopping experience because that makes them feel bad it's not so much that they have small breasts uh -huh. and they think there's something wrong with themselves uh -huh. they just find the shopping experience to be very trying and these lingerie lines they use but full of breasted women and so we're uh, conditioned to think that if you yes. don't have a full breast it's not sexy that's correct but you're saying that with the right design right look right material perhaps and right fit yes you can look sexy yes uh, with the right fit um, women feel more confident, they don't feel so self-conscious, um, they feel good about themselves, and I think that brings out the sexiness in everyone, right? So when you, you feel design good. all this? I designed all this, yes. yes. Let's talk about this one. What was the inspiration for that, the color, the material that, that you used? Um, the lace. I just fell in love with the lace. It's a goupier lace, and um, I wanted to make it kind of um, bright and fun and picked out a berry-colored lining, and yeah, so it was something... Um, Okay. So when you say smaller for smaller breasted women, what would be the starting size for something like this? Um, it would probably be about a 30 double A. Mm, okay, so. 30 double A. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And we would see 30 double A's usually in other lines as well, or 32 double A, or 32 A. But we were talking about this earlier. The cup is not quite A. Yes, yeah, it depends on the um, the company. Uh -huh. It just um, we we test on actual fit models of okay. each size. Right. So we when we do the AAA cups, um, we will find a triple a 32 AAA, for example. We will find a 32 AAA um, fit model to mm -hmm. test it to make sure that the proportions are correct. Right. Yeah. And that is very important, especially when you're talking about fit, and because yeah, fit makes us more uh, the right fit makes us more confident. Yes. Right. Let's talk about this one. What is uh, it, it looks <laughs> sexy. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's a it's a Sabine. Mm -hmm. It has a very light foam cup, so mm -hmm. it basically conforms to a woman's um, curves. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a lace. Um, it's made of lace, and mm -hmm. then it's got a matching uh, lace bottom as well. So um, As long as it's proportion, it is sexy. We feel sexy in it. Yes. But you mentioned that you talked about the uh, light lace cup. Sometimes when we have a lot of underwire and padding, it's just not comfortable. Right. Um, for a small bust, you don't always need the underwire, but sometimes for some styles, um, like a lot of women come to us and say, oh, can you want, they want everything non-underwire, mm -hmm. but it's not possible because sometimes you need the underwire to mm -hmm. hold the, the bra itself down right, on your body. Right, right, right. But we do have um, some styles, such as this one. more regular ones, yes. Yes, that um, has no, it has no underwire. It has a very small um, bump pad, uh -huh. and so it gives you a little extra shape, but not you know, overly so, right. and it's very comfortable that you can wear day to day. So you do the fancy, lacy ones for special occasions, yes. and then you do the regular ones for everyday wear. Yes, because many of our customers, um, when they first come to us, some of them have never even had one bra that has fit them. <laughs> so they, so they, they want to start from the basics up, right? They want to have the basic t-shirt bra, all the strapless, everything. Up to, yes. yes. The information on the screen, that's the website if you want to uh, learn more, and we can order from there as well. Thank you for joining us. More power to you. Thank you for joining us. This has been Janelle Soria, Cabo Bayan in Los Angeles. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday.